what is happening what is going on welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel so if you want to morph two objects in blender uh it's, it can be a little bit challenging but i'm going to show you the easiest way and we're going to use geometry notes so yeah if you're unfamiliar with geometry notes hopefully you'll learn a thing or two about this but geometry notes is pretty powerful in blender and it's a pretty cool way to create some some awesome things so let's go to geometry notes so you can see if you click on geometry notes nothing happens so what you need to do is you need to go back here and just go shift a and get a plane it doesn't matter what you use to be honest and now it's, it gives you the option to hit new then what you want to do is go shift a and get a set position node and you're going to plug that in there move this here let's move this there and do that then go shift a and get a subdivision mesh node and plug it in like that now you can see nothing's really happened so what you want to do is go shift a and get a mix node so mix put this there and plug the result into the position of your set position so now you can see our object has disappeared what we can do is just click here then go shift a and get a position and plug this into a so boom and shift a get a sample index node And you're going to plug this value into b so into here now you can see nothing has happened yet now you're going to need to get an object so you can go shift a let's just use an icosphere so type in ico sphere plug the mesh into the geometry and then go shift a and type in position and we're going to plug this into the value and then shift a and get a sample nearest node and plug this in there and then what you want to do is change this to vector and plug the position into a and a value into b and this into the position and now you can see there that allows you to change this so you can see there and now what we can do is go back to layouts and go shift a Get a mesh and get an icosphere go to geometry nodes and add it to there so now you can see nothing happens yet what you want to do is plug this mesh into the geometry and now you can see there that's what happens so now if i delete this and i click there you can see if you play with this value it allows you to morph it like that and what you can then do and this is the easiest way in my opinion to morph objects so you can see there it allows you to do it like that so you could then bring something like you could make it like 0 0.99 0 0.9 and it looks like something like that is obviously a weird object and then you can just do that so that allows you to play around with this using the mix node and you can do some pretty cool stuff with that so yeah you could always change the icosphere so you can click out, go shift A, and you can get a cube. And you can do the same thing. You can plug this in there and that. And then once you plug that in, you change this from to vector. And now, watch ya. So now it allows you to morph it like that. So this is what you want. So you can see you morphing the icosphere into the cube. Okay, and that's kind of something that we want and it's pretty much that easy so this, this is a node setup it's very very simple and you just play with the factor of your mix node to get something that you want okay it's pretty much that easy so yeah thought i just shared with you guys it's pretty cool and geometry node is pretty powerful because you can obviously then just plug any kind of object into here and it'll do the same kind of thing so that's what's cool about geometry node so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you check out blender kit link in the description and check out the Patreon. Appreciate the support of the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Peace.